All right, we're going to talk about some basic DOS commands. So we're going to start with CD, which is change directory. So the first thing you want to do is type in CD. And to take a look at the help, so you want to do forward slash question mark. This works for all DOS commands. So here is the help. All right, so in our phase that we want to navigate, so if we want to navigate from one folder to another folder using the CD, which is change directory command, because in DOS we you know, don't use the word folder, we use directories. So we can type in CD, dot dot, will take me one back, which would be the admin folder. So you can see that now I'm down to one folder, and then CD. Now that took me all the way down to the root. So we'll be using more of the CD command as we go through some of these DOS exercises. So the next step is going to be talking about making directories. So we're going to talk about the command MD. So MD allows you to create folders or directories and they give you a couple different settings in here on how you do it. So we can do MD new. Uh, here's another command. It's called directory listings. D R I gives you a list of all the directories. So you can see we created the new folder, and now we're going to create some subfolders. So we can do is MD. You can do C colon backslash new data another way you can do it is MD backslash new and we will call it utilities another way you can do it is by changing directories into new and also going MD programs. So then if we do a directory listing, you can see that we have the following folders. So if we wanted to make another directory inside, so let's say if we wanted to make a directory inside data, so we would go CD data, and then we could do an MD and call it stuff and let's say we wanted to make a new folder inside programs so we would go md uh, backslash new programs and data so if we want to go back one level, we would do cd dot dot. And then if we do a directory listing and we want to see all our subdirectories, we can do an s. And this will show us all the subfolders that we created. Kind of cool. So one of the other commands we're going to do is do a clear screen. We're going to do an ls. That clears the screen. That puts us right to the top of it. Now one of the other commands we're going to talk about is using edit. Edit only works in XP, so you have to be using XP. So here we're going to type in hello, and then you can do a couple different ways. You can click on Alt F then X. So in here, I'm just going to do is click on, you can also use the mouse if you have the mouse drivers installed, you can go, you can do file, then you see these keys, how they're all highlighted, that is the Alt key. So if I hit the letter X, and now it's going to ask me, do I want to save this? And I'm going to say yes. And now I'm going to make another file, call it junk. Dot text. And just going to call it junk. And now the difference is, even though I'm still in this folder location, I can go file, 
save as and I can go right into the data folder and click OK and then exit out. So then if I do a directory slash s you can see that over here is my junk folder and my hello folder is right there. Pretty cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear the screen. So another command you can do is type. This just gives you a copy of the of the text document. So you can see that's what inside the text document. So that's another quick uh, tool. All right, so now we're gonna talk about moving files from one place to another. So we're gonna go ahead and copy. So you can use the copy command. So here you can see your different options. Basically your copy command is broken down into a couple parts. The command copy. The first part is the source, the location, and the second half is the destination. So you gotta have spaces. You gotta have copy, space, source, space, destination. So we can go ahead and say copy since the file resides in this current directory so we don't have to worry about typing anything else. So we can just say hello.text to c colon backslash new backslash data. And now you can see that one file has been copied. All right. So another way you can do the copy. So I'm going to do a quick directory listing. So I have see what all my folders are. So we can say we're going to copy the program file. So we can say copy. So we can even get as crazy as this star dot text anything a wild card is a star so what do is it'll look for the first two letters and match the rest of the characters that the extension so there is a couple different ways you can do this now you can see one files one copy I could have done this too. Is question marks are placeholders. So that means it would look for any file that starts with a T, an extension with a T with two spaces afterwards. So you can see that it's copied. To prove this, we're going to do a directory listing with the slash S. And now you can see we have hello here and here. So there's a couple different ways you can do copy by using wildcards and stuff like that so that's kind of cool. So we're going to talk about using the fc command. Which compares two files. So we're going to go ahead and compare so we do FC space the first file location. So we're going to choose the first one. And then we're going to compare with the second location. So we're typing in new because that's the you know directory folder name. And then we gotta give it the file name. So we can compare it. So you can see, voila, no difference. Perfect. So we should have a 100% file copy. All 
All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and clear this. Do a directory listing again with the slash question mark. Go over quick things. So we're gonna do quick ask, and then we're gonna look for the junk folder, and we can see that it's in the, in the data folder. Okay, so now we're gonna type in the move command. So that's the move command. So we're going to do move. And then we're going to go with C colon backslash new data. That's where the folder was. Jump.txt. C colon new slash programs all right so the only difference with the copy it shows that you copy the move if it just hits enter with no error message then successfully done it so that's how you do the move all right so the other command we're going to do is the rename So just gonna type in REN and then we're gonna go to C colon new and then I'm gonna go with the data and change the junk. Now we're gonna change it to hmm, I don't know. I guess can dot text, what the hell? Oh, that's right, I moved the file, so it won't be there. All right, so we gotta do programs. See, you uh, type the command in wrong, you get an error message. If you type it in right, you get no error message. So very good. So now, to verify all this work, do a directory slash s. And then we can see that junk folder was in the program folder, and we can see now it's can. Awesome. So now the other command is the delete. So that's the help. So if we want to delete the can file, so we can do type in delete, and then we can type in new, and then programs. Voila, it's gone. So now if we do a directory, you can see it's gone. Perfect. All right, another option. So when we're looking at the uh, delete command, you can see another cool command is slash s that allows you to delete multiple files. So we can go ahead and say delete. And then we'll say hello.txt slash s. There we go. I deleted all those copies. So now if we do a directory listing, all those files are gone. Perfect. Alright, so I'm going to need to create one more file here so I can demonstrate a trip. So we're going to go in and do edit. You can 
see. And if you do it like this too, this will give us all the files that are in that folder. So now if we want to set it for read only, we would add plus R. Now if we do a trib, you can see, there we go. Then if we made it plus H, and if we do a trib, you can see that it has the H, and if we do a directory listing, now you don't see the file. Why is that? It's because we marked it, we marked it to be hidden, so that's why. So now, to do that, undo it, we have to change that to a minus H. There you go. Now you can see the file. Good means. All right. The last thing I want to talk about is the prompt command, which is P R O M P T forward slash question mark. There you go. It gives you all your different choices. So to use it, you would just type in P R O M. And then if you want to change it, so let's say we want to change it to, so it's uh, current drive, and let's say it's Q, there we go. Now instead of having written in, we could just say, we could up arrow it and just say, all right. And now it could be just equals or whatever. All right, so that's pretty much it. So have fun. Thanks for watching this. Bye.